You are looking at a 2003 Ford Explorer XLT. Uh, this one has a four liter, eight, or excuse me, six cylinder engine. Uh, it's an inline six. This one, uh, it does have an issue. I mean, it makes sort of a tapping noise. In here so you can hear it. My mechanic is unsure exactly what's making that tapping noise. So also the shocks on the hood, See how it goes down? It kind of goes down by itself. Um, I had put uh, a prop in there to hold it up. There's only a couple of small flaws in this car. I mean, overall, the interior is in fantastic shape. All the electronics work. Uh, this mirror is cracked. There's a little tiny hole in the back there. It can, there you go. Uh, overall, though, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Has a nice set of tires. It has third row seating, which is so in demand uh, if you look at the pictures I put all the seats down so you can see everything it's hard to put them back up with one hand there. all right but the uh, upholstery is in fantastic shape here let me do it just so you can see there's two and let me do the other side but even the backs the interior door panels uh, the exterior is in good shape uh, you have some of the original uh, factory mats uh, the interior is in good shape, even the headliner looks nice. Uh, as I said, it's an XLT. Um, normally these crack along the edge, this one's not. Uh, that's pretty rare. It has a tow package and a full-size spare. I don't know if you can see that, it's hard for me to see in the camera. It's really sunny out today, it's kind of nice. Uh, it's the beginning of October, but it's still a very nice day here in Delaware. Uh, let me try to do this one-handed. Hold on, let me pull up uh, the third row seat. That's actually pretty easy. But if you come in and you go over top of here, you can fit two, possibly three children. There's two seat belts, so technically two children. Legally, you can go back there. Um, and you pull this handle, and this seat uh, goes back up right there. So then you have three seats there. Two plus three is five. Six, seven seat belted passengers. Uh, you then do have a roof rack on top. Um, all your windows and everything are power. We're also really low on gas. Um, it does have four wheel drive. Oh, let me turn the AC on. It does have cold air conditioning, which is fantastic because it is, I don't know, 70 and change out today. I'm gonna take this, put my seatbelt on, take this down and put some gas in it. Um, if you win the bid and buy this, Explorer, uh, you'll owe a deposit of $250 via PayPal within 48 hours of accepting the bid, winning the auction, whichever way we decide to list it. Uh, then you will have another five days, seven days total from the end of the auction to pay for it completely. As you can see, it ships well. We're in third gear now. Uh, I gotta slow down because we gotta turn around here. Um, but you'll have to pay for it in full within seven days of the end of the auction. Um, you'll then have a total of 30 days to get the vehicle off of the lot. Um, that has to happen. The reason we're selling this so inexpensively is uh, it's been on the lot too long. We need to move vehicles. Um, it's a nice one. Um, I don't know what that tapping noise is and I can't make any guarantees either way. I, sounds like it's something internal. So. My mechanic doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is. We don't have time to properly diagnose it. So uh, that's gonna be on you. This will be an as is cash sale. Uh, you'll have seven days to pay for the remaining uh, balance of the vehicle. You'll have a total of 30 days from the end of the auction to come get it here in Frankfurt, Delaware. Uh, we'll put a 60 day Delaware temporary tag on the vehicle. Uh, you can drive it back to wherever you're from. $200 fee on all auctions. That's for the verification of the title, uh, lien verification, your temp tag, all your paperwork, all that kind of stuff. That's the only fee involved. So whatever your winning bid is, say the winning bid on this is, I don't know, $19.95, $22.95, something like that. Say $22.95. The total, total price out the door at $22.95 is $24.95. You won't need one other dollar. Uh, that'll cover all your paperwork and everything. 
come here. I can pick you up at the airport. If you fly here and you want to drive this, um, I can't make any guarantees, uh, but if you want to drive this, put a 60-day Delaware temporary tag on it, uh, and I can pick you up at the Salisbury Airport, uh, airport code SBY, Sierra Bravo Yankee, or the Salisbury um, bus station both in Salisbury, Maryland, right across the border from where we are in Frankfort, Delaware. If you want to talk to us about it, uh, you can call the car lot. It's 302-732-6800. My name is Jay. Office manager's name is John. I'd be more than happy to discuss anything with you about the vehicle if you'd like more pictures taken. It does have 107,000 miles. It's very, very low mileage. So, uh, I don't know. It's a really neat vehicle. It has separate controls for the rear. Uh, 4x4 works. Let's listen to the radio. Hold on. Let's put it on FM. Find an actual station. Yeah, you can rock out. I uh, haven't tried the CD player. I don't actually own CDs anymore. Um, but it is a nice truck. And uh, I'd like to wish you good luck and happy bidding.